tell me about the ASBO. What are your memories what? of the, AS the ASBO? What? The ASBO. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, he is a high school all-state tackle from New Mexico, Big Eight sophomore lineman of the year, two-time All-American, all-conference uh, selection in 1963 and 64, two-time Super Bowl champion, NFL 1960 All-Decade team, four-time All-Pro, two-time Pro Bowler, played 13 <clears throat> years with the Dallas Cowboys. My pleasure to welcome Mr. Ralph Neely. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. That is one heck of an intro right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been listening to that for 20 years, and everybody uh, says, well, why, they, why don't they put you in the ring of honor? Mm -hmm. Why don't they, you know? And it, I've just given up. Quite well, don't give up, because that's what I'm trying to do. You need to be in the ring of honor. You need to be in the Hall of Fame, and you need to be in the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. That's what I've been trying to do for years for you. I don't know if you know that or not, and I'm going to keep trying. So, I mean, we got your buddy uh, Ray Phil right in there, and you ought to be right there next to him. I don't understand it either. Do you have any reason? <laughs> <about that? laughs> uh, well, you've come a long way from Farmington, New Mexico, haven't you, sir? Well, you know, uh, Farmington was a great place to grow up, and um, it was a good, it was a good sports town, good schools there, and um, I'm the third of four brothers. And, really? Uh, yeah. Are and, they all as big as you? Not quite. The, uh, <laughs> um, but it. Uh, it was no sister, just three boys, and we all uh, went to school, went to college on scholarships. Really? Um, what made you choose Oklahoma? And to get me to Oklahoma? Yeah, how did you choose Oklahoma? Well, uh, Bud Wilkinson flew into Farmington in some fan's jet or plane. And he showed up at high school unannounced. Really? Yeah. And um, so the principal went over the speaker and said, um, Ralph, you're needed in the front office. And I thought, well, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> I see yeah. a lot of time there. But uh, uh, it was, he stood up, and I, I was just dumbfounded. So you knew who he was? Yes, I did. And he came to the house, <clears throat> excuse me, came to the house, met with my mother and the father and a little brother. And he said, Ralph, said, all I got to do to offer you today, no gimmicks, nothing, is to, uh, uh, for you to play one of the best football teams in history and come out <clears throat> in uh, a winning tradition. And I, I thought, hmm, kind of hard to argue with that. <laughs> You're not joking. I, th I think my father would have shot me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how, how was it playing for the legend uh, uh, Coach Wilkinson? Was he, what kind of person was he? Well, you know, I tell people I had two uh, coaches after high school. Right. And Bud Wilkes and Tom Landry. Mm -hmm. After that, it's downhill. I mean, uh, both of them were – there were a lot of like in their right. uh, personalities and that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, I'm very lucky to have been under those two coaches. Well, I'll tell you what, two legends – now, I understand you played both ways at Oklahoma. Is that correct? Yeah, until my uh, to my senior year. Okay. And they went to free, free substitution. Okay. Um, well, you had to be in still on the state. You put me on offense, and I said, boy, I don't own on defense. And I was all upset and all that stuff. And, of course, it's the best place you could have put me. Oh, absolutely. 
But you wanted to play defense, huh? <laughs> Gosh. Now, I understand you missed the uh, Gator Bowl your senior year. Is that correct? Yeah. I, uh, I signed back back then. The um, um, draft was before the January 1st. Mm -hmm. And you got your taxes in one meal in one year, and the rest of it just split it up. And uh, I was like then I was talking to Bud Wilkinson. I mean, I'm sorry, Coach Landry and the Houston Rollers. And uh, it was – Cowboys were a hard team to say no to. Huh. Even if, even during the 13th year. <laughs> <laughs> well, so let's – okay, let's go through this. So you got drafted by two teams, correct? Two teams. The Colts yes. and the – I was drafted by – Two teams, Baltimore and Houston. Right. AFL and NFL. Yes. And they, uh, I called um, the co uh, the owner of the Colts and said, man, I don't want to go back east <laughs> in Texas and I'm in <laughs> Oklahoma. I mean, for me, it's New York or somewhere off the map. And, uh, so I, I called uh, Gil Brandt at the Cowboys and said, I'm coming through on the way to Hawaii and meet me at Love Field and uh, sign a contract. He said, well, I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a could, little, you, could you lower your iPad oh, just a little bit? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. There you go. That's better. The, you got to show uh, that pretty face. <laughs> no, a lot of miles on this face. <laughs> um, but where was I? You're going to meet him at the airport for a contract. Yeah. And, of course, when I signed, and it was before the first of the year, uh, but we had a, another game at the Gator Bowl. Mm -hmm. And they came out, the news came out that I'd signed a contract prior to the game. So they made me ineligible, oh. plus another three team, uh, three teammates. Right. So it really was an accident. So I mean, you didn't know, right? You what? You didn't know you weren't supposed to do that, right? That was just an accident. No, I did not. I, I figured <laughs> I'd done my duty. Absolutely. Everybody got money out of what, and that's my turn. Absolutely. So when you came into the NFL, okay, well, out of that deal with the with the orders and the did the governor's cup come from that move there? Am yeah, I the governor's cup came. <clears throat> the governor's cup. We all play. We always played Houston in an exhibition game, mm -hmm. and part of the trading uh, was to play uh, the governor's cup. And so every year for four years, we played Houston in Houston, not in Dallas, but in mm -hmm. Houston. I, so I did not know that. So yeah. So when you came into the NFL, you became an immediate starter, correct? Yes. And in 13 years, that's that's amazing. I mean, that's just not heard of. Um, well, you know, out of the 13 years, I missed six games, and that was that was all at a one time I dislocated an ankle driving on a motorcycle. We don't go there. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I bet Coach Landry was a little PO'd at you for that. Yeah, in fact, that was a year. Super Bowl year. Uh, in fact, heck of a year. They went to the Super Bowl and won it. But, but you, I wasn't on the click on the team. Okay, I was going to ask you about that because I thought I saw your picture in the locker room after that game with Nylon and Lily and yourself. Was that – It was that – did you suit up for the game or did you not play or um, – Because – No, I was in – I was on injured reserve. Okay. Yeah. And I've seen that picture, you know, smoking cigars after celebrating the Super Bowl. I thought you didn't play, but yet you're you're in, in uniform. I, I was confused on that. I was going to ask you about that. But. That might have been another Super Bowl. 
Might have been. Uh, yeah. Um, now, as a kid growing up, I mean, I know I'm a kid growing up, and there was a huge – for me, I hated the Redskins. I hated the Steelers. I hated the, you know, Eagles. It was a big rivalry. Is it the same for players back then? Did y'all have a real rivalry or was it just business? Y'all didn't care. No, um, Redskins. <laughs> didn't like each other? They, they no. <laughs> but I'm glad to hear uh, that. Uh, you know, it was um, – they were in our conference or whatever they called division back mm-hmm. then. George Allen. Uh, and we had – we played them twice, one in Washington and one in Dallas. Mm-hmm. And we had some – I ended up having a lot of friends on Washington. But we had some great games. Well, so I'm just – so y'all did have a rivalry for real. So, yeah. How was, yeah. it, how was it playing for uh, Coach Landry? What kind of – is it all business? Did you have a relationship with him and Tex Schramm? Well, you know, I, I think um, obviously he was a uh, perfectionist and um, he – I guess Walt Garrison said it best. He said, you know, he said, did somebody ask him, Walt, did you ever see Coach Landry smile? Yeah. And he said, no, but I only played eight years. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. That, that is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> all right, let me ask you this. You have a reputation – well, did you have a reputation for giving rookies a hard time? Yes. You enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that? Is that true? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And they did they call you Gramps for real, or did you just make that up? They call you Gramps. No, my nickname for it was Rotten. Rotten. Yeah, because that's my disposition <laughs> for during game day. And the the sink the the veterans would tell tell the rookies say, "Stay away from him." You know, he's in he's in the game mode. Well, what kind of things do you do to rookies? Oh, they, they had the normal stuff, uh, stand on the table and sing your own. But we didn't have much of a uh, – we didn't have much of uh, – what I'm trying to say. Uh, well, it, you know, after the first exhibition game, you didn't have any more anyway. Right. But there was not a lot of – things you know that you hear about <laughs> sending them out for right you know, I, I send one out for a six pack or something <laughs> <laughs> well i gotta ask you this how was tell me about the ice bowl what are your memories what? of the ice, the ice bowl what the ice bowl. <laughs> no <laughs> i know <laughs> uh, well i'm gonna uh, before you tell me that i'm gonna tell you my my father He's also a Cowboy fan, and for 20 years, he always referred to the Packers as the damn Packers. Instead of the Green Bay Packers, they were the damn Packers. Yeah. So, so tell me about that brutal game. I know I hate to ask you that, but, I mean, we – but I just – how was it playing in negative degree weather? Well, you know, we went out to – we flew to Green Bay, uh, worked out Saturday afternoon. Mm-hmm. And it was like 50 degrees. And uh, when we woke up to the Holiday Inn, uh, oh, the blinds had ice on the windows. And we thought, oh, boy. <laughs> and uh, you, it was to describe it is you could not put on enough clothes and could not stay out there long enough to get warm. You just were cold, and uh, it's it's you know it was the game uh, was when it ended was forty seven below. Golly, the chill factor was forty seven below. That is unbelievable. You know, yeah, I don't think they've had that. I, they probably today wouldn't call it. They they'd put to delay it, uh, but. You know, and of course, we lost a damn game at the last play of the game. So, 
Beautiful. But I tell you, I tell you a good one. Um, Don Perkins was from New Mexico and played for Cowboy. And uh, he'd been out about, I don't know, seven or eight years. He was, somebody was asking about the Green Bay. And, uh, or, or no, somebody asked him about the highlight of his career. And when he said uh, the highlight of my career was in Green Bay, and I got in the locker and got warm. That was the <laughs> highlight of my career. Man, that's unbelievable. Now, in, in 1971, there was a uh, controversy between Staubach and Morton. They did the shuffle in and out. Do you recall that? Yeah. Okay, how did you feel about that? How did you feel about that? Um, that had to be... <laughs> Didn't like it. Okay. And neither, you know, they were, at one time, they were rotating them. They, right. Rogers start one game and Greg would start another one. And, of course, there wasn't anybody on the team that agreed to it. Um, right. I mean, we just said, give us a quarterback and let's go, you know. Yeah. Just, and um, <laughs> well, they made they, a pretty good choice. They didn't do bad, did they? They finally made the right choice. I couldn't understand why it was even a debate to begin with, but anyway, um, did y'all when y'all practice? Did y'all have contact practice or not? Because nowadays the thing is not much contact until game time. Did y'all? We would. Well, we didn't do stuff to get people hurt, right? Uh, but we had to run a. Um, you know, we wouldn't go blocking comeback blocks and that sort of thing. We we didn't do it. And, um, but we did have contact. Yeah. And, you know, Harvey Martin, God rest his soul. Right. Uh, his rookie year, uh, we were out in California and he was rookie and, uh, Coach Stalkner was the defensive line coach. Mm -hmm. And he had him, he knew what I was going to do, but he got, <laughs> he got him over. And got him said, boy, you want to get to Ralph, you haul off with that left hand and hit, head slap him upside the head. Uh -oh. That'll get him. So he came in. And sure enough, you know, he reared back, and I threw an elbow in his mouth, and it knocked him out. Did it really? He, he didn't hand slap me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So who are some of the toughest guys you ever went up against that you remember? Played with? Uh, played against. Who are some of the toughest guys you went against that Brentley comes to mind? Well, Deacon Jones. Oh, yeah. Deacon Jones. Uh, I think that Fred Dreyer for the Rams. Yeah. Uh, and there's uh, – but I – see, I played on the left side. Mm -hmm. Well, after about four years – four or five years, and I was all pro and blah, blah, blah. And the, the thing that got me, well, not for Texas. You're going to edit this, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if we need to, so far <laughs> we're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. What did you ask me? Some of the toughest players you played against. Gave you oh, a hard time. They would Coach Landry, Rayfield Wright was coming up. Mm -hmm. So Rayfield went to my right side and they put me on the left side. And here I was, you know, all pro three or four times on the right side. Mm -hmm. Now he moved me to the left after the years. And it was like being right handed and turn around and be left handed. And I did not perform well. The next year, the the coaches were saying, you're battling for your position. I was almost off the team. I don't <coughs> think that happened. Unbelievable. But <laughs> Can't believe that. So what's it like winning a Super Bowl? I know you got, I know you got a ring in 71, but in 77, you played in that game. It had to mean more to you, I would imagine, because you were a part of it. Yeah, I – um, I think 
you know, the last game I played um, was the Super Bowl, and we won it. Mm -hmm. And that was the whole thing. I mean, yeah. 13 years. Well, um, go out with a bang. Go out on top. Absolutely. And that had to, had to be a great feeling. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, uh, and that – do you recall the 71 season when Dwayne Thomas didn't talk to nobody or supposedly he didn't talk to nobody? Did you? Oh, Dwayne wouldn't talk to anybody except the offensive line. Oh, he did talk to y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wasn't that stupid. <laughs> well, you know, the rumor is he didn't talk to nobody, so it's good to know that he talked to the line. I was going to ask that. I mean, yeah, you can't take care of him. He was unbelievable, wasn't he? He did. Uh, you know, I tell people, that he was by far the best running back I ever blocked for. Really? Yeah. And uh, he was like Jim Brown. He didn't run. He glided. You know. He was smooth. Something, did that just something run, else. Was him not talking? Did that mess anything up in the locker room or on the team? Or don't even worry about it. No. <laughs> what when I when I bring up the word Thousand Oaks, California, what kind of memories does that bring back? Oh, yeah. Sunday morning at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I That's bet the worst. Worst. <laughs> <laughs> So y'all had some tough days out in Thousand, Thousand Oaks? Yeah, you had Sunday off. Yeah. And a group of us could load up two or three cars, and we'd drive through the mountains and uh, end up on Malibu. I'm bad. Yep. And... We, yeah, and what yeah, is, we feel sent all day long, of course, drinking beer all day long. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I bet that was well, tough up there. You know, we did well, a little that, other stuff we can't talk about. Well, I understand that. We'll, we'll do that another time. Is there a difference to you play, between playing in the Cotton Bowl versus Texas Stadium? Did you see a difference in that? Uh, you know, I don't think so because we were just happy to play. Right. You know, uh, like today, <coughs> the players today, one gripe that I got against them mm -hmm. is they're making a fortune. Oh, yeah. And they, they take anything to – well, I'll shut up. I understand what you're saying. What, what kind of money did you make play when you played back in your day? My last year, 13th year, I made 70000 70000 and is, does that include the money you got from the playoffs in Super Bowl two, or is that was that extra? No, I made another fifteen thousand in the playoff. Well, and, the money uh, they make the money they make today is unbelievable. Well, yeah, and you know they earn it. <laughs> well, that's a lot of money. Um, who was the best player that you ever played with on your team? Who, who would you consider if you had to pick one? Who would you feel right? Rayfield Wright. Yeah, and if you ask Rayfield, he'll say Ralph Neely taught me everything I know. I bet you did. He was a hell of a gentleman. Good guy. Uh, so after you retired, after you retired, what did you do? Well, I just bummed around a while. I came <laughs> out of, I came around of. Uh, See, I worked every off season because it, you know you knew that seventy thousand dollars a year that's nice money, right? But it's just not going to last. And so we, I worked in the off seasons and invested in some gold oil business, and you know, just I came out of college with a double major in accounting and finance. Really? Yeah, worked off uh, for a couple of years. I worked off uh, Wall Street, and I found out I didn't like it. <laughs> you didn't like it? <laughs> I thought you were a banker or some something like that in finance. Yeah. Okay. Well, I came. I bought a bank in East Texas after I retired. You bought a bank? Yeah. Wow. Okay. They're not my money. <laughs> not my money. <laughs> Had a few few investors, did you? I was asked in Quitman, Texas, in East Texas. Okay. And, uh, boy, 
you're talking about a mistake. Why? 1,200 people. And you couldn't go pee around the clock <laughs> without everybody knowing about it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was miserable. I really you, was. You didn't like that? No. So are you fully retired now? You're just taking it easy? I'm retired. How you like that? You like it? Yeah, I've, uh, you know, I'm 76 and relatively sound body. Yeah. I've got some of the things hanging over that they're going to be with me. I, I live in a senior living facility. Okay. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I've got between the, I was in the insurance business for, 20, well, 30 years. And the renewals on that business, I'm still getting them. Really? Yeah. And they're, they're down, but we're still getting them. Okay. I'll tell you what, when I, was growing, when I was growing up, and I still do today, when I look at you, I always envision you like Matt Dillon of Gunsmoke. I mean, just that. You know. <laughs> That, that's what you should have been, Matt Dillon of Gunsmoke. Yeah, man. Where's Chester? No, no, no. You're Matt Dillon. Um, <laughs> well, listen, we're gonna we're gonna keep trying to get you in the Hall of Fame. I, I know I am, and it's a it's a tragedy that you're not. So you know it, and I well, know. I it. don't think. I honestly don't think um, Texas is going to get into the Hall of Fame with pro players mm. that weren't mm. in Texas. I know that. I I, I know that you're not really from Texas, but there are, there's a few that have done it. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't get into the, the Ring of Honor for sure or the Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it, it eats at me, but you know, every once in a while, because I bet it does. Do you, um, do you go to any cowboy games today? Do you still? Are you still? Nope. No, you don't go. Nope. Not a part of it, huh? I can't afford it. <laughs> You don't have a free pass? <laughs> no. Really? You buy no. I you can't buy believe, tickets. I can't believe y'all don't get free get freebies. Can't and then on the oh my gosh. On one of those re, we used to have a reunion every uh -huh. year. Right. And have the ex players and we get to meet the new players. And um but no, it was wow. I didn't know that. The game is different today. I mean, when I grew up and you were a cowboy, you were a cowboy. I mean, you knew from one year to the next you're going to be there. Nowadays, you don't know who's going to be there from one year to the next or the ne even the next month, which there's no loyalty there, which I think really uh, hurts the game bad, I mean, in my opinion. I mean, you end up just rooting for a uniform, not a person. I mean, I've been devastated if Roger Staubach or yourself went to play with somebody else just for more money. Well, I don't blame the guys. You know, the owners are making a ton of money. Yeah. And I don't – if I was playing today, I'd be right in the middle of getting I all I can. I know that, and I, and I agree with that. But as a fan, you just hate to see your favorite guy go. Yeah, I think there's a separation, a big separation between the player and the fan. Yeah. And where – when we were playing in, you asked me about the Cotton Bowl in Texas Stadium. When we played in at the Cotton Bowl, the fans would have their kids and hanging over the, when we went into the locker room, they'd have their kids down and, you know, we'd give them high five or sign it. You know, it's like a family. Oh, yeah. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it, the game has changed for sure. Well, I want to close. I want to thank you so much for coming on with us. And um, again, I want you to know how hard we're working for you and we're pulling for you. And uh, yeah, you're, you're a gem of a person and a man. And thank you very much for coming on. Is there anything you want to add? No. Just okay. uh, I think that, um, you know, when they put Gil Brandt in the Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. I got a question, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't mind telling him. <laughs> you know, I've talked to some players. I've talked to some other players, and they don't. They don't. 
not everybody loved O'Gill. I mean, they, they were kind of bitter, the ones I talked to. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess that's that was his job. I don't know. But uh, I know one thing. He had that belt pulled up to his chest when I saw him last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, listen, we're going to close. Uh, I wish you all the luck in the world. And uh, you take care of yourself, my friend. I will. Thanks, Colin. No problem.